What's up, guys? Hankery Outdoors here. I want to wish everybody a uh, happy Father's Day. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm out here uh, getting ready to take a tree stand down. I've got one down already, and I brought my little trailer with me. And I'm going to load them up and carry them to the house. And then whenever we get ready to set up on our new property we're hunting this year, I'll have them ready and loaded up. So getting some of this knocked out this morning. I just want to show you all a little trick. <clears throat> getting the ladder stand by, down by yourself can be a little tricky. And getting up there and undoing the straps is not safe or fun. Should have two people with you anyway. But uh, anyway, what I do, <clears throat> I got my lone wolf sticks with me today with the uh, steel strips, strata steel strips. Not that that makes a difference today, but I love them things. So if you haven't got any, check them out. Um, but what I'll do is I'll climb, climb up here. I just put my first stick on. I'm gonna climb up there to the behind the stand. Go ahead and let loose of the uh, straps that hold it to the tree. <clears throat> and what I did is I left my hunter safety system lifeline here, and uh, and I'll be able to let the stand come down easily while I have my lineman's rope. If you haven't check these out check them out that's the rope man one and uh it's gonna hold me up on the tree while i let the stand down to the ground and i'm not standing up on that platform with no straps on it and trying to let the stand down by hand so i wish i could video doing this if i brought my gopro i'd have videoed the whole thing but i didn't so happy father's day everybody and uh hope you're outside enjoying your time in the great outdoors, and your family better be with you. It's Father's Day. All right, All see y'all. Right, just a little update here. I've got, uh, I don't know if you can see them, three sticks on the tree there. And uh, I come up here to take my lifeline, drop it down a little bit. I couldn't reach it from where I thought I was gonna be able to reach with my four stick. And I'm gonna take my homemade tell if you can see that or not my homemade camera arm down made this a couple years ago take that down and then I will climb up the back of the tree again on the lone wolf steps and uh, then we'll let this thing down real easy that's the plan anyway all right guys I'm gonna show you real quick this is definitely not fast but if you're going out by yourself it's just a little tip if you want to use it. Anyway, I tied my lifeline around the back of the stand, ran it up over a gear hook right there, and then it's running down to my hand. And I'm gonna try to video some of this. I'm just, I'm just gonna let it slide up over that gear hook like that. And then it's gonna sit down a lot easier than just dropping it or if you guys ever tried to walk one down yourself you know how the feet can kick up on you so anyway there she goes it's down on the ground i didn't waste time messing with the straps not because i didn't want to take the time but they've been out here for two years and you can tell by filling them, they're pretty brittle, and I ain't risking it over a $10 set of ratchet straps. So, climb down, never even used my four stick. Got this one still up here, lifeline still hooked around the tree. Not that I needed it for me because I had the lineman's belt on. But that, that kept the tension uh, up over that, that gear hook as I let the the rope set the stand down so I was tucked up tight with the lineman's rope against the tree so uh, I was able to keep my balance hands free and uh, and let the stand just come basically lay straight down beside the tree now for instance if you're on this back side of the tree and you got your gear hook on the right like I did basically right up there <clears throat> When you push 
the stand from the right side to come around and fall, it's not gonna fall out there. It's gonna come around and lean right back this way because of the way your feet are, are positioned out in front of the tree. So the weight is back this way. So it's gonna fall back. So basically it just came right here and dropped straight down in a line right beside the tree. And you can see here, there's my sticks shoved off from the right and it basically just laid right down there um, now just a disclaimer this is a single man stand a double man stand you can do the same thing it's a little more wobbly when it comes off of the tree because you know it's wider so just be careful uh, even doing this it'd be nice to have two people um, just because uh, I had to come down a couple times to uh, undo the lifeline uh, after I went up and got my gear tie or my gear, uh, my other gear hook, got it down, got the camera arm down. You know, somebody else could have went up the other side using the lifeline while I was going up the back. So two people is always better when you're doing something in the woods. But if you hunt by yourself all the time, like I do 99% of the time, uh, you try to figure out ways to do it just in case you ever have to. And uh, you know, this time of year, everybody's busy. So, you know, everybody's got stuff going on. So, I mean, it works out to have little tricks like this. And uh, <clears throat> basically right here, I just slid these Prusik knots through the rope. Hang on just a second. Give me some room here to clip those together and that locked around that bracket. So now, I'll just carry this. Over here. And uh, run the whole rest of the lineman's rope back up through here. Sorry guys, this is on my phone. I know the video's terrible, but just trying to help you out if it, if it helps you out. But however you do it, please make sure you're harnessed or tethered some way tied off because every year, every year without fail, we hear so many people falling. Uh, all right, I'm going to have to do this with both hands. But anyway, I'm, all I'm doing is unlooping that around the tree and then I'll take my last stick down. But uh, like I was saying, make sure you're using... Lyman's rope or a uh, tree tree strap, something to keep you tied on if something was to happen. Because, and I've been using these sticks for a little while now, not years and years like most people, but I feel a lot more comfortable with them. But there are times, you know, like like this tree here has got big, thick gaps in the bark. So if this was to, you know, jerk and, and kick sideways, you know, this thing, I mean, it's solid as a rock. I'm trying to pull it, but. You know, sometimes when all your weight's on it, um, you never know. It could be a soft spot in the uh, bark or something. But if you're up there with all your weight the wrong way and you start to slip, there ain't a whole lot of things you can do if you're not tied on except fall. So uh, anyway, just do me a favor and your family a favor. Make sure you wear your safety harnesses. But anyway, I'm gonna end this. Damn, it's already five minutes. Um, just want to show you guys uh, how I do it. I'm not recommending anybody else do it. Somebody else may do this too. It may not be nothing new to you, but anyway, just wanted to kind of video it while I was taking it down. And uh, hope y'all have a great day. Happy Father's Day, everybody from Hankery Outdoors. We'll see you.